New at 5.30, a lesbian couple in Florence is terrorized. A gun pointed at one woman's face because of their sexual orientation. I mean, we didn't do anything. We have lived our life. We've never done anything to anybody. And this isn't the first time this couple has been harassed. But as they tell Nine on Your Side's TJ Parker, they haven't seen a threat like this before. Helen Cunningham has lived in this neighborhood for the past 25 years. She's never had any problems with her neighbors until now. Last night I faced my own terror. And I didn't think I could ever, I, didn't, I just didn't think it was possible. Helen Cunningham and her partner Sandy were coming home late last night when they say they were harassed by a neighborhood teenager about their sexual orientation. Minutes after they went inside, Helen heard a banging on the door and went to check it out. I opened the door, he's standing there with a gun pointed right at me, pulling the trigger. First, she felt fear, but what she felt next troubles her even more. I'm so ashamed at the hatred I felt for that kid when he put that gun in front of me. It didn't fire, and Helen quickly called police. But seconds after they left, she heard a loud explosion. Someone smashed something through her front window. Whether he hit it with a firecracker, he hit it with a stick, it doesn't matter. All I know is that glass flew across our room. Helen says she and her partner have been targeted for months. She's not sure if it's because they're gay. It's so repetitive that it's starting to get old. You know, they're bringing other kids into it. Misty Jones lives next door, and she's seen these kids pester other people in the neighborhood. As for Helen and her partner Sandy, they hope something is done soon to bring peace back to the neighborhood. Enough is enough. We got to stop this, whatever possible. Helen says all she wants is to be left alone and hopes whoever may be doing this. Can get some help. In Florence, I'm TJ Parker, nine on your side. And Helen tells us she has an idea of who may be doing this to she and her partner. She says that she is working with the Florence Police Department.